Hi, it's Tony here again from the Think to Thrive team with video number two in the stream series, helping you with your resilience, confidence, determination and focus during these difficult times. How are you being? Better, 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 good, good, good. Right, first of all, quickly to recap on this image here of the stream, let me ask you a question. If you had the choice to drop from this bridge into the stream, one of three objects that would not pollute that stream, would not pollute that stream, which object would you choose? Here are your options. One, you could drop in oil into that uh, stream, so a bucket of oil into the stream. Option two, you could drop in 50 crisp packets or pieces of plastic into that stream. Or you could drop into that stream ice cubes, a big bucket of ice cubes. Which option would you choose? Well, of course, you choose the ice cubes. Why? Because if I drop ice cubes into that stream, it's not going to pollute it. I'm putting the right messages in. So on today's video, coming back to the uh, stream uh, image that we have here, I'm going to sort create a solution for you that will help you with this one problem. And the problem is boredom. I'm sure we've all experienced that during this moment of crisis. That feeling of feeling bored, frustrated, because every day is the same. I've heard a lot of people say Groundhog Day. Let me show you a solution to that problem. The solution that I've uncovered during these difficult times is structure. Put structure into your day and that will help solve the problem of boredom. Where does this fit in to that triangle, that set setting of your compass, SET triangle, in what we talked about two weeks ago? That will help you enhance your ability to serve. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're bored, you're not going to be at your best to serve your family around you the community that you might have online, the outreach that you are doing, you're not gonna be at your best. Providing structure into your day will enhance your ability to serve. Okay, think about it. If you've got structure, what do I mean by structure? Well, my structure that I've had to impose during this lockdown period is every morning I get up and I have a green smoothie. Part two, I then move on to doing some work. I'm writing a book at the moment, so that's my focus. Part three then is I will then move on to writing some music because I'm using this time to get back into writing some music. It's always followed up by a country walk just around the block in a safe way that we are advised to do. That's my exercise. That's followed up by tea. Then I followed up with some more work on my, on my book. And then later evening, I have this wonderful time where I get to study very late at evening to fill my stream of thought with positive um, affirmations and images and knowledge. That's how I'm solving that problem of boredom. How might that look for you? How might that look for you? I'm gonna hand over now to my good friend, Mike Hendricks, who's gonna carry on this idea a little bit more, but let me ask Mike a question. Mike, Mike, what structure are you putting into your day that is helping you? What structures are you placing into your day? I think everybody's going to be really interested to find out what Mike's up to, because all I'm doing at the moment is talking to Mike on the phone. So over to Mike Hendricks, who's going to take this a bit further. Thanks, Tony. Now, you made a very good illustration of underlying the point of having structure in your day and how having structure can really alleviate boredom and feeling downcast and downbeat and having that feeling of, Groundhog Day, which I imagine for many people in this present moment are feeling it's just the same thing over and over again. Nothing's really changing. But when you do introduce structure, when you do introduce a daily plan, it can help to make the day seem more productive and more constructive. Now, as a father for young children, busy household, it's important that we have some kind of structure. Now for myself, each day is, the, is not necessarily the same but one thing that kids will do is they will remind you that they're always there and they always need attention and if you're not giving them that attention 
they'll let you know, they'll make noise, they'll scream, they'll shout. So it's important if I don't have some sort of plan in place, if I don't have some sort of structure in the day, the day doesn't seem to go very productively or very constructively. So what I do <coughs> is plan. I've got a diary, I use this when I was working before this crazy situation we found ourselves in, but I still use it now, I still revert to this. Um, writing down what I need to do, even if it's just two tasks, but writing down what I need to do and make sure I go through those tasks and tick them off. And one thing my wife does, very organized, she's written a plan for the kids. If you come over here, I'll uh, quickly show you. <coughs> now, if you look on the refrigerator, I don't know if you can see it there, <coughs> but the kids, <laughs> they've also, received a plan so their day is structured as well so we're not just letting the day just roll by and, and one day roll into another day roll into another day we've actually got something constructive to do so it's a productive day it can be a fun day and you can do the same plan write things down what would you like your day to look like what sort of things would you like to experience what sort of feelings would you like to experience on that day it's important that you make a point of doing that so you don't roll into this very easy to do situation of just being bored and fed up. Plan, have that structure. Follow the stream system that Tony's talking about and your days will be seem much, much better. It's not gonna last forever. We are gonna get through this. But while we're here, we've got to make do and plan. And today we're talking about for you and encouraging you to find that structure. Okay, hope you found that of value. Remember to share this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, here is to your success. Lions roaring in the morning sun.